Hey guys, it's Fuzzy Manash and this is just a quick tutorial I'm just gonna make because I've got nothing else better to do for it's just a couple of effects I done. I'm just gonna quickly show you what effects I'm gonna do show you how to make. So that's this twitch one here where it changes transitions. And then it's going to be that one right there where it sort of closes in and twitches so I'm just going to show you how to do this so for the first twitch one I've already got a fake project file right here that I've just made sort of preset sort of thing so I'm just going to quickly open it And yeah, so make sure you have the following plugs in. New, make sure you have new blue active camera and BCC misalignment. If you don't have this, you can just use sort of you can use magic bullets, do chromatic aberration, or you can just use sort of RGB split method. And also make sure you have RSMB real smart motion blur. If you don't have it, just a, such a tutorial. So it's gonna make this by myself so it's gonna quickly key for, key for a minute so I've had a card so I'm gonna zoom in move every two key frames and then it's keeping that Just copy and paste, and it's gonna you just keep doing this. And restore, and I've got new. Cause I'm gonna my, get my new blue active camera right here. And I've already got a preset sort of twitch effect. So we basically just copy these things, yeah. And then animate it, go to the last keyframe, and put it reset to none, whatever it is, there. Then I'm gonna get my BCC misalignment, basically RGB twitch. Here, just click the animate button for the just for these three only. So we had two keyframes, and just put this, just do what I'm doing now, right now. Just doing sort of random way, but only move 0 0.01 each time. Off the reset run. It's gonna copy and paste these. Let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks a bit too long. Let's 
let's move back here. Yeah, that's looking all right now. Now I'm just gonna get my RSMB, put it on, put it out around four, so you can actually see the blow and it twitches. It's not as good because of my other piece I perfected it, so I'm just gonna just delete this because I'm gonna just copy paste it in attributes get my RSMB That's basically sort of it for the Twitch transit Twitch sort of transition. You can just play around with it if you like. Now next one I'm gonna show you is how to do that sort of closing door effect transition. So I'm just gonna insert two video tracks and sort of split it couple of seconds in just there and move that just move that there just copy that onto this track and it's gonna mask it so you set mask and you choose the anchor create tool and sort of do it diagonally across this yeah that's good and then you just copy paste event attributes but this put this one on negative then we're gonna go to transitions go to slide put for the top one put this one How that looks. And for the bottom one, you put that on as well, same thing, except you put this at 225. So it looks so it looks even. And then I'm just gonna do this twitch effect one. But without any RGB splitting. Just like that. And we'll just pre render it, see what it looks like. You can just put sound effects for closing. I haven't seen any other tools with this sort of transition so far. Most people probably just do masking. Let's do it yet. Yeah. That's basically for that one. And for the next one, it's basically my optics compensation. Next effect be basically my optics compensation effect. And just find a good part. Table Just put that there. Go to my magic where it looks, wherever it is. There. Put this on. Edit it. load up. Okay, it's froze. Oh no, I didn't freeze. 
Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so this is basically my off this conversation tutorial. And it's gonna go quickly through again. Put the first frame at zero, then animate last frame. 100 Let's quickly show you what the effect is going to look like Just like that and And like this Just basically those like those two effects so just copy paste copy paste copy paste I think that let's do it one more time yeah, that looks good enough so now you go to your first keyframe for pan and crop go to last one uncheck this one just do it like that and then go to this one just do it the same as your one then put out restore I'll just quickly pre render and see what it looks like keep in mind yours will look much better because you'll have more time to do this, this is a quick tutorial And you can just put some real smart motion blur on it just to make this sort of look smoother. There we go. There, and you can just put a reverse whoosh sound. So it's gonna with my intervention shot. There we go. Let's dig it apart. Put on. Reverse it. And. Yes. There we go. That that's how you do it. So yeah, that's just basically it for the tutorial. It's it's not that good of a tutorial, but it's just really quick. So if you liked, it, if you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more content, good content, and tutorials. It's been Fuzzy Manash, and I'm out.